Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Tuesday the 25th of May, starting off with Klontarp Energy by popular demand. Uh, here it looks as though we're going to get uh, an end of day and perhaps even a weekly close above the 200-day moving average at 0.4 pence. We had that full storm uh, for the stock in March and also, I suppose, uh, in December as well, so something to watch out for. But uh, it looks as though the shares should be on their way after the uh, bear trap low that we had there at uh, 0.31 earlier in the month and uh, if we could stay above the 200 day line the target here over the next uh, two months or so is up to 0.75 pence which is the top of that broadening triangle from the turn of the year so maybe sometime during July. This stage only really back below that uh, recent swing low there at 0.35 delaying the upside scenario yet again. Moving along to a stock which used to be called uh, Big Dish but now is called uh, Marla Foods and uh, some signs of life here. We've got uh, bullish divergence in the RSI window, so lower low for May, uh, not matched by a lower RSI trade, so that's a uh, positive. Just crossing into the buying zone for the MACD indicator as well, and breaking through the top of this falling wedge, which has been in place since March at 1.2 pence. So an end of day or a weekly close above 1.2, and we should be on our way at least towards the 50-day line at 1.4 pence, and then up towards a best case scenario target maybe over the next couple of months as high as 2.2 pence but obviously let's see how the situation develops in the meantime the key i suppose over the near term is that we hold on to that 1.2 level just because uh, that was also uh, the april support for the shares moving along to a rather less high profile uh, situation and uh, one which has got a decent looking chart on at the moment uh, e energy group uh, here we've had a bear trap rebound from below that um, late March alert 21 and three quarter pence and while we're above that looking towards uh, at least a retest of the March resistance uh, for the shares at 30 pence and that could be seen as soon as the end of next month obviously we broke down or we sort of uh, delayed our trajectory on the stock so at the moment probably looking at a rising trend channel uh, heading towards 35 pence while we hold above uh, today's 19 pence support on to probably what is the um, one of the well, probably the best uh, bullish situation of the day here, Petro Matad. Uh, here you can see there's been um, uh, we've actually hit uh, one of the former targets for the shares uh, around the nine pence, uh, well the eight pence plus area. Uh, but the current trajectory here is that we're looking towards uh, top of a rising trend channel, heading towards eleven pence as soon as the end of next month. And that channel in place since uh, March. So let's see if the stock can head up to that area. While we hold above recent supporters at uh, seven pence, so above seven, looking towards eleven by the end of next month on Petro Matad, uh, stock which uh, doesn't have quite such an exotic sounding name uh, is coming up next. Uh, we've got Norman Broadbent, and uh, it looks as though finally the shares getting a bit of uh, momentum, a bit of uh, volume as well in the stock, so uh, not so sort of spiky as before. Current view is that it looks as though we're heading towards the top of a rising trend channel. Uh, from back in January at 11 pence and that's valid while we hold above the April peak at 7 pence a rather simple setup there disappointing I suppose that uh, online blockchain came back so much from the uh, peaks earlier in the year that peak there in February towards £1.20 and it did uh, appear at that time that shares would at least consolidate at a rather higher level but we've come back down to the 200 day moving average uh, and uh, actually a stock which uh, or a chart that looks rather like the Oriel Resources chart at the moment but uh, that one managed to rally from the 200 day line as well and this one above uh, 39 pence on an end of day close basis we should at least head towards the 50 day moving average at 56 pence if you're cautious on the shares maybe you'd wait for uh, clearance of the 45 zone 46 pence zone which is the 20 day moving average but uh, above the 200 day line and with some uh, bullish divergence in the mix in the RSI window uh, with the lower lows for uh, May not matched by a lower RSI trace looks as though there may be some accumulation going on there at online blockchain. On to one of the simplest charts of the year and uh, probably one of the most bullish as well. Um, one, um, one heritage here with the uh, gap through the 50-day moving average is an island reversal uh, from February and uh, we've really uh, maintained that momentum ever since. Rising trend channel here from uh, January, based currently around the 50-day uh, moving average level, but we're well above that now, and uh, looks as though we're heading towards a pound, uh, which uh, could be hit seen as soon as the end of next month. That's valid while we hold above 
the uh, 60 pence area, uh, which was April resistance and initial May resistance as well. Don't normally look at the big ones, uh, but we have a big market cap stock next. Uh, Royal Mail just uh, wanted to show that sometimes um, elephants can gallop, and here we've had a gap through support, uh, sort of through, either two, through resistance rather, and um, the old resistance there for the shares around £5.30. Above that, very much in bull mode for the shares, and uh, possibly heading up towards um, a line of resistance, which is currently predicting a, a target up to £8, maybe over the next two to three months. That's valid while we hold above the floor of the gap, uh, the, the yesterday's high, in other words, which was £5.53. So maybe uh, that's a risk-reward trade that some people might be uh, interested in, at least a technical setup there. On to Sasanda, which uh, I believe uh, raised some money um, early today. But uh, here we've got a situation where uh, we saw the shares gap through resistance in March, and they've maintained that uh, gap ever since, which is normally a pretty good plus point. The view at this stage is that while we're above uh, the uh, initial, or rather last week's low at uh, 19 pence, we could hit the top of a rising trend channel from back in the autumn of last year as high as uh, 32 pence by the end of next month. So let's see how we go with that. Just getting into the sort of a buy cross there for the MACD indicator. And we've also got bullish divergence uh, with the uh, the lower lows that we've had for May to date, uh, not matched by lower lows in the RSI window. So that's looking quite encouraging with the inside day breakout that we've had today. On to Vissarion, where we've seen the shares go into a tiny range over the recent past, so just uh, clinging to either side of the 35 pence level. Tends to, you tend to see that in, in the situations where uh, there's been a consolidation. Towards the end of the consolidation, then the uh, price action becomes very, very uh, sort of low volatility. Uh, we're seeing that currently at the moment, or we have been seeing that at uh, Tiziana. But uh, in this situation, above the 20 day moving average of 35 pence, we're looking for at least a retest of um, the old April resistance of 46 pence over the next couple of weeks. After that, probably the low 50s, uh, which we saw back in February, would be the destination. And low 50s, perhaps, on Q4 uh, the end of next month, if everything goes according to plan and we get a decent breakout after the recent uh, consolidation. Finishing off with a rather less problematic uh, stock, maybe, in terms of the technicals. Here we've got uh, Berici, which is, uh, we had a full storm for the shares in April where there was a minor rally, but it uh, looks as though maybe this one might be more convincing, uh, given that that one's already out of the way. Uh, current situation is that uh, we've got a line of resistance uh, from back in February, and a decent end of day or a weekly close above that, uh, which is at 63, and uh, we can see the shares uh, rally towards former resistance on the way down, which is towards uh, the 79 to 80 pence area as soon as the end of next month. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.